Hi, my name is Alan Johnson. We are going to introduce some movable jazz guitar chords. What is a movable chord? A movable chord remains the same regardless of where you're playing it. So for example, if we are playing, say, a, a C major seven here on the third fret, if you move it up a half step, it becomes a C sharp. And then it comes a, a D major seven, etc. All the way up, up the guitar. Now, if you play, for example, a C in this formation, that does not become a C sharp. It's not a movable chord. Same thing with a G7 that's played like this. That's a G7, but if you, if you move it up a half step, you get garbage. So to introduce movable chords, we're going to work on a jazz standard called I've Got You Under My Skin. The opening four chords are repeated, and I want to introduce those chords to you. It begins with a D minor 7 that's played like this. Now, you need to know that on, on the, second, the second string, the A string, it's dampened. We don't hear it. In, in jazz guitar chords, you tend to play the fewest number of notes possible. Also, the E string is dampened. There's the E string, we don't hear anything there. So you're just hearing four notes. It's the D minor seven. If you want to make the D minor seven, D minor seven with a flat five, well, this note right here, that guy, that's the fifth of D minor seven. And we can flatten it by just going down a half step. And that D minor 7 flat 5 automatically wants to go into the G7, so it sounds like this. Got it? D minor 7, D minor 7 flat 5, G. All right. Now, the pattern we're playing then is going to add C major 7 and then an A7. Let's look at it more slowly. D minor 7, D minor 7 flat 5, G7, and C major 7, and then A7. Seven. It's important to know what is happening in the bass note. In this chord, the D minor 7, the bass note on the E string, is an A, which is the fifth of the chord. It's important to know that it's the fifth because if we wanted to lower the fifth, we know where it's located and we just go down a half step. This chord is a G7, and the bass note, again, the low E string, is the root of the chord. It's the one, or the root of the chord. So, as you remember these movable chords, remember what is happening on the low E, the bass string, okay? So let's, uh, let's try playing this again. Here's our, here's our pattern. D minor seven, D minor seven flat five, G seven, C major seventh, and A seventh. Now on this A seven, if you, if you would like, 
On, on this B string, which is located right here, the second string from the, the highest, you can raise that a half step and then you have an A7 plus five, augmented five. From an A7 to a A7 augmented five. And that, that ends up being a leading tone for us to begin the pattern again. Now you don't have to use that, but it, it has a nice leading sound to it. So let's put it into our pattern. All right, we're going to play I've got you under my skin, and the introduction is very simple. We can just take the beginning of the song, which is, and we can repeat it one full step higher. And since the chords are movable, we can say, play the same chords on the fifth fret. So our introduction is, I've got you under my skin I've got you deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart you're even a part of me I've got you under my skin I tried so hard not to give in I said to myself this affair never could go so well But why should I try to resist when baby I know so well I've got you under my skin I'd sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near, in spite of a warning voice calls in the night, repeats, repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. Cause I've got you, baby, I've got you, oh, I've got you under my skin. Now, a few things about some of those chords. Notice at the ending, the way we ended it was by playing the C major 7 and just sliding up and down. Half a step higher, half a step lower, and then back. Kind of a neat way to, to end the tune. Um, also in the song is a G diminished. And that chord looks like this. Second string is dampened, and also the high E string is dampened too. That chord can move four frets up the keyboard. It's the same chord, just the, the notes in the chord are rearranged. Well, I hope that was useful. Until the next time, this is Alan Johnson saying goodbye and keep playing.